guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. I have another review of a eBay Bible. And I want to show you a couple of cool things you can do with old Bibles that may be a blessing to you that are really affordable. Okay, so this is just a little New Testament that I picked up. And I really like it. It has a nice wording size. And I got this on eBay. And I believe it was in a Bible lot. Because you can buy like a bunch of Bibles at once in a Bible lot on eBay, which those are really nice too. So some people, they'll just take all their Bibles and they'll put them in a Bible lot. Now, I don't really like it when they put other Christian books in with the Bible. Somebody else might like that. It's all a matter of preference. I usually just like to buy the Bibles, but some people put in Christian books and stuff, but... I usually don't buy those. I usually just buy the ones that have the actual Bibles in it. But that could be different for some other people. Maybe you do want to buy all the Christian books together. So that's something, you know, if you look through the lots, make sure that it has what you want in it so you're not just buying something you don't want to. So you might think you're getting Bibles and you might get in, be getting Christian books that you could pick up at the library or, library or something and you don't really want them. But that's something you have to decide for yourself. So this came in a Bible lot, but I'll tell you some things about this. This is just a straight New Testament. It has nice size wording. And now I was kind of reading through it, and I just used a crayon. Crayons are great. You can get these like at, um, oh, the Dollar General, and they have these all the time. And so for like five, six bucks, you can get some crayons cheap crayons which work just as good as the good ones I, I don't know if this was a because this was a Crayola but um they have cheaper ones too and then what I did was I took I want to show you what I'm doing here some of these I always get like a big bag of markers the cheap ones not nothing expensive at the Dollar General and I use these sometimes to mark up my Bibles and um, <clears throat> my dad used to be an engineer and graphic designer and all that stuff my daddy owned a printing company so sometimes I don't know if these will work with it but sometimes if they get dry you can like put them in a bottle of water <laughs> and revive them but sometimes it doesn't work I just use them on the floor but that's okay but what I do is I take these and I just take these old Bibles and now this one I made green because the inside is a little bluish and I started with green but I should have probably did a blue but it doesn't matter so this one's going to have like green and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this with it, but I want to show you something else I do. I can recover this. Now I'm not going to, I don't think, because I like this one, but I'm just to show you one idea for you. Like this is an old uh, phone case. I think I got it secondhand. I'm not phone, a tablet thing, but like I can look at the binding and if you have a scroll saw or something to work out better, but some of these things are pretty thin and you can like cut and then make it fit, and this could be the cover, okay, but I don't think I'm going to do that, because I actually kind of like this little cover I did on it, but you can do things like that, but see the binding here, um, another thing that I do, I got my bag of pens open here, and I want to show you this, man, they're going to be falling, but that's okay, I'll pick them up after the video, now here's another one, I did a review on this before, I just got some scrap, scrap paper, used some washi tape, but look, isn't that cute? It was just an old Bible I got this one, I believe, off eBay, too. It didn't look pretty at all. This is a, this is a good news Bible, which I like. But look, isn't that cute? It, and I just uh, made it look, you know, look how nice and updated that is. And even this Bible was cute. It's, it's cute. I mean, it can be cuter if I decide to do other things. But I even, like, drew in the gold. I, I used some of these uh, markers. And, I, and uh, I put in, like, pink and different things just to see if I can make this pop a little bit more. I don't know. I might, I know, I'll mess with this some. I might put, put lace on it or, you know, like along the edge or can crochet lace or pick up some lace or whatever, or, um, you know, whatever. But you can make these look really cute. Um, and just old Bibles that you get on eBay. And so I don't really worry if the cover's not nice because if it's really bad, I just uh, cut it off and then look. Look how cute they can look, just redone. And uh, there's a million ideas you can do with them. So if you aren't using eBay for Bibles, I just want to show you what can be done. You can get, like I said, some just Bibles that aren't the greatest and redo them, have fun making them up. I, of course, if you've been watching my channel, 
I don't sell anything. I give all my Bibles away after I get done studying or if I've already had the version or just feel like God's leading me in that direction. But it's just something that I love doing. I just absolutely have so much fun doing this. And um, eBay is just an awesome source. And I mean, isn't it a cool way? Like, wouldn't you love it if somebody handed you this all done up and nice and said, hey, would you like a Bible and have it all done up pretty and and nice with study notes and stuff you can you know somebody would just be such a blessing you know it's a great witnessing tool and um you can hand out bibles you know and so um that's a great opportunity and you can do it right from your home you don't have to become a big part of a group or thing you can just do it whenever you get time if you're a mom or grandma or a, a dad or grandpa you know what a nice way and then i mean i personally absolutely love it when people leave their study notes in it's so hard to find so if you sell old bibles and put them on ebay just there are people like me that just like please please leave the bibles below the kids coloring and the and the notes and all the stuff because uh i enjoy that i just like to feel like it was loved before it got to me and uh if i see some mama's notes and you know maybe i i grew up in church you know maybe Mama went to the bathroom and the kid took a crayon and colored on the page. I mean, it's not going to offend some of us. It's like, that's kids do stuff, you know. It's, you know, part of life, you know. But uh, anyway, so I want to throw that out. I'm probably going to repeat myself a lot in these videos because I've been talking to eBay. And I want to make sure that you guys, um, you know, I, my channel's about helping you grow in your face. So, you know, go ahead and, you know, like, if you need some extra Bibles or you want to hand them out or you just want to get some new study Bibles... You know, take your old Bibles you don't want, put them on eBay, buy some new ones, and refresh. Give your faith a jump start, and when you get done doing it, you reading them, put them back on eBay, and on and on you go, right? Um, or if you don't like me, you might want to buy Bibles and hand them out to people. You know, I'm a tribulation missionary. There's a lot of us. They hand out Bibles to people, and you could do that and leave study notes. Because after the Christians are all gone, there won't be any preachers or pastors. And so your study notes are going to be like gold to people. But, uh, yeah, New Testaments are awesome. This size is awesome. And, I, I mean, I was really pleased with the size. I have a video out there, but I'll just tell you here. You can read any Bible. Just Walmart has like 350 glasses. Because you can't always find them on Amazon and stuff. They they say you can buy them. And then when you go to buy them, they'll say not in your country, you know. Because I'm, I'm in North America. But... Walmart has them all day long, so you can just get a, like a pack of them, and then when you get these little Bibles like this, you can just like, oh, good, I can read any Bible I want. Just put those glasses on. I don't have to worry about trying to get the big ones, and you know, because I'm older. You know, sometimes you might get a big Bible, but it's hard to carry around. <laughs> so okay, so I want to share a scripture always with you guys, or give you some Bible tips. So today I'm going to be into Acts. This is so cool. Um, you know, Jesus. He was, he went up into heaven, but you know, he was on earth for 40 days before he went up to heaven again when he came back and stuff. You can read about that in the Gospels. And uh, he was telling them about the kingdom of God and, you know, telling them he was going to come back in the same like manner. Because first of all, you're going to have the rapture, okay? Talks about that in the Bible. And then he's going, you have the second coming where Christ comes back with his saints. Okay, so first of all, people are raptured, they get caught up, and they go up to heaven, the first people that love God, and uh, then, seven years later, after the tribulation, the, they come back with Jesus, and so, got to study all that out, uh, just a couple guys you can check out, uh, check out Jack Hibbs, Hale Lindsay, Chris, uh, Chris. Chuck Misler, he's awesome. I love him. Um, in fact, I have a book waiting for me at the library. Cause, I mean, use your library, man. You don't have to buy everything. Go to the library. They have lots of things there, and you can even like put books on hold and stuff. Um, but I'm waiting for, to read again The Late Great Planet Earth by Hale Lindsay. So he's he also does a good teaching on Romans and John, so you can check him out on YouTube. Free! <laughs> So, I mean, hey, use as many free resources as you can, and then buy what you absolutely have to. And, you know, that'll just really jumpstart your Bible study, right? You know, use wisdom and be a good steward of what God has given you. Okay, guys, so with that, remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.